I was told the other day, is one of our customers is 90. No, you mean 70. That's it. 70. Yeah. <coughs> Sorry about that, Jackie. I tried to get all the stuff, but some of them have all buggered off on holiday. So you just have to put up with my partner, Robert, here, and one of our horticulturalists, Elizabeth. That's her there. Say hello to Jackie. Hello, Jackie. <laughs> anyway, we know you're 90, anyway, and that's quite a milestone. 70. <coughs> yeah, 70. 70, sorry. And your daughter said to me that she has a, she loves gardening. And what we were going to do, uh, we were going to talk about one or two of your things, like chopping the legs off frogs. But I don't think anybody should do that, the Frenchman. Actually, I think it was a frog. She was edging the lawn once, right? Chopped the leg off a frog. And then had to go and have a little lie down because they're traumatised. <laughs> uh, we've all done that. Have you ever done that? I haven't actually. Have you ever done it. that? Yeah. Actually, I've never done that neither. But anyway, we'll say happy birthday to you. And what we're going to do is we're going to select your plant out. We're all, all three of us are going to choose a plant that we find an interest in this time of the year on and around your 90th birthday. So anyway, we were actually, we were going to, uh, we were going to execute a garden ornament because we're told that you have a garden full of ornaments and you sort of like recycle them. They recycle them, they give presents of like ornaments, like <laughs> frogs. Robert likes sort of ornaments. We were going to execute one, but Elizabeth thought it was in bad taste. Anyway. See how you get on with this. Hello Jackie. This is one of my favourite plants this time of year. It's a Primula florende, also known as the Himalayan or Tibetan cowslip, because it looks a bit like a tall cowslip. But it's got much nicer flowers. They have a lovely scent to them, which sometimes surprises people because they don't realise what it is because they don't expect these to smell. Um, they flower about this time of year, maybe a bit earlier most years like it a bit damp like these look good in a big big clump they'll self seed about or you can easily split them and they have not a bad looking foliage for a primula you can see these ones here are going to seed a bit so a lot of these have self seeded themselves along here you have to watch out for the little ones not to hoe them out And I forgot to wish you a happy birthday as well. Um, another plant that I just saw on the way out is this Allium cernum, which has lovely little droopy flowers, but underneath, little yellow bits in the middle, a bit different, and would look very nice next to the primula I've just shown you. Com Yellows and uh, purples always seem to look nice together. Easy, comes up every year, bulb thing really. Um, and just a nice thing to have in your border, really. What's that in there? Oh. There is an ornament of a dog's ass, isn't there? Cutely sticking out the ground. You might prefer a real one, like, you could have one of these. Your backside tucker could become immortalised in Jackie Sanders garden. We should take a cast of it. It ain't the prettiest sight, Tuck. Anyway, why I'm here is to show you my choice of plant. And it's something you won't have seen before because it's new. We've been working on it for about three years now. Believe it or not, this thing is a delphinium. Flower rangers are on my ear roll all the time wanting this. We haven't put it on the market yet because I need to bulk it up. There is only one plant in existence and uh, this is it. I personally don't like it, but I can imagine it's going to become very popular. You just do not see brown delphiniums. And therein there is the, the problem of naming it. I mean, I don't know what we're gonna call it. We've had suggestions everything to, from brown special to badger's bum to sooty. 
I have no idea what to call it. But the first thing we have to do is bulk it up. But it, it is an interesting plant, Jackie. It's interesting as opposed to beautiful. And Tucker, it's a bloody sight more interesting than your backside. Well, there's no need to get sulky. Happy birthday, Jackie. This is one of my favourite plants, Clematis tangutica, or the old, old man's beard. It uh, flowers really well, nicely through the summer, and uh, you get these lovely seed heads afterwards, which are really nice when you get the frost on them uh, towards the autumn time. And it just rambles away in the corner of this potting shed nicely. Then there's another one which is uh, Actinidia columnata, which is the um, kiwi um, family. And it uh, starts off um, white in the, um, in the spring, when the f leaves first come out, and then they fade, fade out to being pink. Um, and it loves this west facing wall on the potting shed nice, nicely. Now you can see there's a white leaf there. Which is uh, rather nice, and then that'll go pink as it ages. Was well, that it then? Have you done? Is that your lot then? Yeah. So there you are, Jackie. <laughs> One thing I would add: there's always room in your garden for a rose. Now I don't always like roses. Some of them are nice, but and the scent. I see. I love the. Love the flower, but I hate the plant. And they always remind me of my sister. In her quest to get a boyfriend, she would put anything behind her ears. Rose water, lily of the valley, that sort of thing. But mostly, it was her ankles. <laughs>